campaign of Joe Biden, the presumptive Democratic presidential candidate, responded to President Trump's interview that aired Sunday on Fox News Sunday by accusing Trump of lying about the former vice president, who is currently leading in the polls. Trump took a number of shots at Biden, accusing him of being mentally incapable of being president and taking far-left positions such as wanting to defund police departments. Trump challenges Biden to mental exam, says Chris Wallace would not score as high as he did for over a year, Donald Trump and his campaign have cycled through the same self-defeating attacks against Joe Biden and have failed to get traction on a single one, Biden's deputy campaign manager Kate Bedingfield said in a statement. President Trump gave it yet another go on Fox News Sunday this morning. He lurched from smear to smear, all while being forcefully corrected on most, including the lie that Joe Biden wouldn't keep the American people safe and supports defunding the police, which has been fact-checked into oblivion over the last month. Indeed, host Chris Wallace interjected when Trump said Biden wanted to defund police. He does not, Wallace corrected. Trump then referred to the recommendations put forth by the Biden's unity task force made up of his supporters and those of Senator Bernie Sanders, I Vermont. Fox News poll Biden holds lead over Trump as coronavirus concerns grip nation it says nothing about defunding the police, Wallace said, but Trump insisted that Biden wants to defund police, Bedingfield went on to note that recent polls from the Washington Post and ABC News have Biden nine points ahead of Trump in questions dealing with crime and safety. The Trump smears aren't working, she said. Bedingfield went on to cite what she called Trump's catastrophic mismanagement of the coronavirus pandemic and ensuing economic crisis. Click here to get the Fox News but it didn't have to be this bad, she said. The American people know it, and in November they are going to vote to put the president in the White House who will take responsibility, bring us together and lead us out of this crisis. Fox News' Brooke Singman contributed to this report. Let's block cats. Why? Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.